The Martin D15, the Martin D17, what's different about them? Why did the 17 series go away? And when it came back, was it actually the same? No. So let's dig in. I'm Jeremy. I am the Guitar Hunter. This is a shootout between a D15, a D17M, and a full-blown, proper, original D17 from the early 2000s. Two of these belong to one of my patrons. Tom, thanks for letting me borrow your guitars. Tom mailed these guitars just so I can make this video. I'm super excited. I'm very thankful. My first Martin I ever owned was a D15, identical to this one. Beautiful, just uh, uh, old mahogany top, uh, no frills, no binding, just a really cool guitar. I think I paid six or seven hundred dollars for mine in 2002 or so. This is a monster of a guitar. I what I the guitar that I wished I owned uh, during that whole time was one of these. So in 2005, Martin called it quits on the D17, the full size dreadnought in gloss with a mahogany top. And they went dormant for eight years, 10 years, and then they brought out this guitar. This is the actual guitar that got me banned from Martin's Instagram. So this looks like a 17 series, right? It's mahogany back and sides. It doesn't have binding on the back, but it has binding on the front. It's an interesting middle road between these two. Uh, this is the D17M, so it does have some cool features. It has open gear Grover tuners on the back, the silk screen logo. Very cool, but one giant, giant difference is that this is actually a spruce top guitar. This guitar is not uh, mahogany, so why is it called a 17 series? There are questions we will never get this side of eternity. This is one of them. I don't know why this is a 17 series, but I am curious to see if these sound similar. Uh, so let's do a three-way uh, shootout. I'm gonna play the same pieces. I'll play two different strummy parts and two different finger style parts. I'll play through all four of these and I'll obscure the view of which guitar is which. And in the end, we'll have a grand reveal. If you wanna play along while you're going, put your comments in before. And if you want, you can either edit your comment and say before and after, or you can just do two comments saying, what you guessed and then at the end saying I was right or I was wrong or how is this possible? All of these are valid reactions. So let's dig in. Uh, we're gonna mix up all three of these guitars. D15, D17M, and a D17.
Okay, well, how did it go? Uh, what did you hear? What did you feel? Uh, was there one that just stuck out to you? Um, could you tell certain things about how I was playing them? Because here's the reveal in three, two, one. Number one was the original Martin D15. This is an early 2000s Martin D15. Key features about this guitar are a rosewood bridge, rosewood fingerboard, uh, mahogany top, back and sides. It's all satin finish. Um, there is no binding. On the back of the neck, you have just standard kind of goto style tuners, still a gold foil, big sticker inside saying what model it is. This was um, an entry level, but still all solid professional guitar. Uh, available. I think I paid 650 bucks or so for mine. I bought one that was identical to this um, in 2003 or so. Guitar number two was the D17. This is the top of the line as far as mahogany top guitars go. Gloss finish all around, Micarta bridge, Micarta fingerboard, still mortise and tenon joint neck. I said a dovetail before, I was wrong. Gold hardware, foil uh, logo up top, binding plus gloss back and sides. This guitar is kind of the full spec that they were doing in the early 2000s for a D17. Number three was the D17M. This was the replacement that came back uh, when they relaunched the 17 series. The main difference is that this has a spruce top. This does feel like a half step between the two. So gloss top, binding on the top, satin on the back and sides. This is the M designation. So that does mean silk screen logo, open gear tuners on the back and sides. This guitar is very different than the other two for the main reason of the spruce top. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about the three of these guitars. This was a really fun shootout to do because they're very different guitars, even though they're such similar materials. The feel, the playability, the voice, the tone, it's all very different in the room. I hope that that gets communicated through, uh, I hope that gets communicated through video. I work very hard to make sure that it feels like you're sitting in the same room with this guitar. I don't run it through a big expensive recording system. I just run straight one mic, two mics into a recorder. I just adjust volume to make sure that everything sounds good and it's the same volume coming into your ears through your phone or your headphones. Also, to get the most out of this video, you make sure that you were listening to headphones. Probably should have said that at the beginning of the video, but you know, people probably watch it on their phones. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. This video doesn't happen, literally this video does not happen without the support of my patrons. Uh, so thanks Tom, these are two of your guitars. Thanks Gary, thanks Adam, thanks uh, Jose. Thanks, Adam, Andy, Gary, Tom, uh, Jose. That's all five of my ride or die. If you want to become a ride or die patron, go to patreon.com slash guitar hunter. For 30 bucks a month, uh, we get to have, you are my ride or die patron. The ride or die patrons get a phone call with me every month. You get Q and A's with me. We're, I'm going to pick your brain and we're going to make the world a better, more friendly, more musical place together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.